Hello everybody, this is Gabriel here at Flippin' and Stones and uh, you probably can just only see my uh, from my forehead uh, down but uh, we're here at the store today it's a beautiful day out there so just tell me how's your day over where you are and where you watching from okay so uh, we've been working on this beautiful uh, dresser dresser <laughs> we just stained it so we're waiting for it to dry and Alexa and I were talking we were not sitting here we were just talking out there and we're like oh maybe we could go live and just give a a little uh, tutorial yes. about what we're going to be doing. So we were talking about decoration. I'm like, what are you doing for this fall? Oh, uh, yeah, that's, that's uh... <laughs> And she was like, ah, uh, I don't know. Well, I had these little uh, trays. Uh, these were given by a customer of mm -hmm. ours. And for, because we do here at Flippin' and Stones, we sell jewelry. So I thought they were awesome to display our jewelry. So I'm going to show you how we're gonna update this update, little yep. tray. And <laughs> we're gonna use Fusion Mineral Paints to mask. It's um, a color they brought back. Let me go. Uh -huh. You can keep yeah. going. <laughs> so it's a color they brought back. Um, they <laughs> updated the um, formula a little bit so it's a light, it's a kind of dusty, pinkish mauve color. It's really pretty. It's one that. Uh, <laughs> I know, it's like my shirt. I accidentally matched it two days in a row. I wore a sweater that color yesterday and I... <laughs> it was so funny because we got the order and I said, Alexa, did you do that on purpose? Did you no. <laughs> Did you wear that shirt just to promote that we got uh, the mask? Because we've been carrying Fusion Mineral Paint for the past two years. Yeah. And uh, when we started carrying it, it, it was already discontinued. Yeah. So... Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of people were requesting it back. They kept emailing Fusion. So they finally brought it back and we were able to get our hands on it. So, <laughs> it took us a while. But... <laughs> it's a small quantity. Yep. And uh, it's, it's funny because uh, we ordered the old mask mm -hmm. and uh, I painted a vanity, which... Yeah. It, it didn't, we couldn't even post it, it sold. It sold right away yeah. and people liked it. And it's a beautiful fall for fall, color for fall. Yes. So, and we actually did a sewing table in that color too, and it's on our blog. Yes, yes. So if you want to see what Damascus looks like finished, we'll link that in after. Yeah. Um, so you can guys read that uh, blog, and uh, and just to let you know, we have a live audience, right? <laughs> <laughs> Three little pumpkins are watching us. So are you guys ready to see how we're gonna transform this little old tray, tray, which is like a vanity tray where you put all your per yeah, put. perfumes and mm -hmm. so how you can display this and it could be like a centerpiece it could be a um I would use it, yeah I would use it as a centerpiece and centerpiece kind of, yeah. yeah 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 so, <laughs> <laughs> so are you guys ready so like I said if you're watching just let, it, let us know where you're watching from we would love to hear and if you are in a budget on this fall we understand it. we all are mm -hmm. so we're trying to uh, show you a couple of uh, tips and tricks of how to use your old the cords that you might yep. have laying around at home repurpose it and, and you know and use it as a new piece mm -hmm. and impress your guests with that letting them know that <laughs> <laughs> that was you had this already for years yeah. and years so actually i just got an idea we should go live every week and do a little yeah little like how can you get at the core you know what i mean yeah like a little inspiration <laughs> yeah thing. yeah that would be cool yeah that be cool. Well, we said it now we gotta do it, so. now we gotta do it. well if you <laughs> like that idea if you want to get ideas on how to update your decor uh, so we'll be more than happy to come in every week and show you a, te uh, a technique or show you how to update that. So, like I said, let's get to it. So all you're gonna need is your tray. This time we're gonna be talking yeah. about a tray. Yep. So this, a tray, it could be any kind of tray that you have laying around. You're gonna need, this is actually optional. Uh, yeah, it's shelving paper. So it'll stick, we'll cover the, um, the old the assistant. Old, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, the old this, is, this is actually, uh, like I said, um, <laughs> optional. optional. <laughs> and this is just optional. So, cause you can paint over this. And one of the good things about Fusion Mineral Paint is that it adhere to pretty much any, any, surface. any surface. This is a uh, metal, metally coppery yeah. kind of surface, so Fusion will paint right over it. 
So. <laughs> And I, I've done uh, mason jars with fusion. I haven't had a problem. Um, we've done pillows. We've done different fabrics. We people have done cabinets. So fusion really adheres to almost any anything, surface. Anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so okay, guys. So we're gonna get started. And if you know anybody, like I said, just share this video. That would be wonderful if you could do that. Uh, that will help us a lot. Yes. As, as a small business, <laughs> it will help us a lot. So yeah, share this video. So, okay, so you're gonna need, uh, just gonna tell you real quick, this is optional, because you can paint this, you can stamp it, you can add uh, texture, mm -hmm. however you want. Today, we're just gonna use this uh, paper, which I bought this paper in a hardwood store, yep. big yep. store. You can also do this without buying it. You can just use the Fusion Mineral yep. Paint. Uh, you wanna go get? <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of furniture around us, so we're like, so we can use the. She's gonna get the trampoline gel, which you can. It's like, uh, what are they called? So you can. There is. Um, it's the fusion mineral paint um, decoupage <laughs> transfer gel. So you can use it as a decoupage. So you can put paper or any. I guess, you know, wrapping paper, or tissue paper, or whatever you want to put, and then put it on here and then paint over it with the um, decoupage and it'll adhere to that surface. Or if you had a photo, I'm not sure how it would work over something like this, but on a piece of wood or a clean mm -hmm. piece of, um, I don't know, but I, like wood, a piece yeah. of wood, you can use that and transfer the photo onto there. So it's, it's double duty. So there are many options you can do with this little trick, but uh, also, uh, if you're gonna be painting the bottom part, mm -hmm. I will also recommend like painter tape because you can tape it around so you don't have to paint this. If you like the design, you don't have to. You don't even have to. You just paint the round. And a little tester of fusion mineral paint, which is an awesome paint, mm -hmm. is only four ninety nine. Four ninety nine, and it would definitely cover this tray. So all you're spending is four dollars really ninety nine. Yeah. Right now, uh, our tray costs us. Well, this is five. Yeah. 99 yeah. about ten dollars but it was ten dollars to get the whole set uh but if you just want to paint it you go ahead and paint it so like i said we're going to be using beautiful the mask we only have it's a, a small limited quantity it's a limited quantity quantity and it's only available for a limited amount of time so we're not sure how long fusion is going to allow us to buy it so if you want it, I would suggest coming in as soon as you can or ordering it online. We have it available online mm -hmm. as well. And uh, I didn't hear that. If you guys can hear us, just give us a thumbs up because <laughs> we're really far away. We can't even see the comments. Yeah, so I, I, far, I, even with my glasses, I can't see. <laughs> but we can go back and, 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 and if you have any questions, we can go back and answer. <laughs> but just give us a thumbs up if you can hear us or a heart. Please, because uh, right now I can't even tell. I just got a notification. I didn't hear anything. Yeah. So I want to make sure you guys can hear me. Okay. So thumbs up or heart or anything. <laughs> just let us know. <laughs> so please let us know. So I we clean the we clean the tray. outside of the tray with TSP. Um, again, that's by Fusion. So that takes off all the dirt, all the grime, um, and we clean all of our pieces with it because. You know, for the fusion to adhere really well, you want a really clean, clean, uh, clean piece. Um, and it's really, it's really concentrated. And yeah. It's easy to use. You take two capfuls of this and put it in um, a liter of water. You mix it up. We put it in a spray bottle and spray it on and clean off your piece. This one we used a toothbrush and just scrubbed it on. Um, and wiped it down with the blue shop towels and it's ready to go, ready to paint. So this is just the first coat and you guys can see how beautiful the coverage is on this uh, paint. We love fusion mm -hmm. mineral paint, that's what we use for all our furniture. Mm -hmm. It's just the coverage is it's great. It's, yeah, it has really, really great coverage. Really smooth, really easy to apply. Let's see if you can see that. If you can see that, give us a thumbs up. <laughs> Beautiful. So. And a little bit goes a long way. Yes. Actually, uh, that's, yeah, that's like, and we painted it. Yeah, that's just like a little bit that's of, uh, of fusion. And this is going to give me for two coats mm -hmm. on this. And I already did two coats on the other one. And all I want to show you 
is what I did. So I painted, I let it dry, and uh, uh, I'm gonna let it dry and I'm gonna do the second coat after. And it has a relatively quick drying time too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure if I go around, by the time I get around, I can just do the second coat on this. On the pieces of furniture, because they're a big uh, surface, I tend to wait two hours just to let the paint cure when I do my next uh, coat. But in things like this, I'll just do it right there. Yeah, it doesn't, yeah. it doesn't take a long time. So I'm just gonna put this here. And then what I like about the peeling and stick uh, paper is that it has the dimensions in the back. So you just measure your piece of where you're gonna be putting it and you cut it and place, put, it. place it right on there. So, I don't know how are we doing with time, <laughs> but like all cooking shows. <laughs> <laughs> cooking? I when know. did we start cooking? <laughs> so, uh, but would, uh, let me just explain a little bit more. So, <laughs> and we'll show you the final product later. So yeah, so you want to get in there and all those nooks and crannies, get that beautiful fusion and I'm today I'm using one of these uh I was just gonna talk about that I can't <laughs> pronounce the name though Stalemeister Stalemeister uh brushes brushes yeah and uh these are <laughs> what, what was I gonna say you know what <laughs> what I was thinking I was thinking am I on my Facebook or the business I have no idea so uh <laughs> if we're on yours we'll share it to the business we'll share it to the business that's awesome <laughs> <laughs> so uh I like this because it has a pointed mm -hmm. sash and the, so it's easy to get in these uh, little crevices. Yes. <laughs> She's and, my translator. Yeah. Um, the brushes are really um, easy. They're synthetic and natural fibre, um, bristles and they also um, hold quite a bit of paint. Yes. So you don't want to dip them all the way into the paint because you'll see brush strokes. And that was something when I bought these brushes, I did that. I dip it all the way to the pink, uh, no. the top. <laughs> to the top. Yeah, but then I watch them really well. You don't want to do that. Too much paint is going to give you a lot of uh, brush strokes. Brush strokes, and then it's hard to get the paint out of the brushes. Out of the brush, yes. So yeah, so just follow those uh, directions and you'll be good. You only dipped that what once? I only dipped this once, <laughs> and I'm going around the whole thing. So, I'm gonna... so they, it really does hold a lot of paint, yeah. and it does have really, really great coverage. It does. It mm -hmm. does. This is like uh, a dark copper, mm -hmm. and it's it's, it's it's doing a beautiful yeah. job. Like if I wanted to just leave it one coat, it would be perfect. But I don't know. I'm the kind of it's so funny. I'm the kind of person that even though I want to I want to distress the piece, I have to see and <laughs> paint all it all <laughs> cover and then distress it. <laughs> I don't know why. Anybody like that out there? Please tell me I'm not the only one. <laughs> I'm sure, there's someone else. There has to <laughs> So there we go. So then, what I would do? I would wait to dry, do the second coat, and another nice tip is. Always put your brush, if you're not using it, in a damp um, cloth. cloth. So it doesn't dry out. It doesn't dry out, exactly. So I'm just going to move this out of the way. Move everything out of the way. The floor is fine. <laughs> and now I will be putting the... Shelving paper? The, yeah, the paper. But uh, let me see if I have a little piece here. Alexa, you can keep talking. All right. Well, <laughs> um... We often, the one thing we really love about Fusion is that it doesn't have any VOCs and it's environmentally friendly and there's no scent, so we often paint in the store and you can't tell we're painting. Yes, we're so, actually painting right now. Yeah, and, obviously. But. And, our, and our viewers are fine with it. <laughs> so guys, so this is the one I use. You're going to see it on the in the finished piece, but let me show you how easy this is. This is just a, a door liner. So you peel it off and if it's the you know you gotta cut it to the size just tape it right over it that. and that will give you that wait until you see the finished product you're gonna be like oh wow where did you get that <laughs> all right alexis do you wanna yes oh, I got it. Okay. guys ready hi everyone that is watching today 
Imagine this on your uh, table as uh, the centerpiece. Split, centerpiece. Actually, I'm just going to show it yep. without the stuff on it. So you can see how it turned out. With the two coats of Future Mineral Paint, the mask, mm -hmm. the shelf, the liner, the liner, and he went back and distressed, distressed the whole piece. Just like a whole new, uh, whole new tray. Tray, yeah. So that's what we're saying. Imagine just uh, staging your uh, what's it called? Decor. Table. Table. <laughs> <laughs> Table for uh, the fall. You can use a little. Which one did I use? The little pumpkins. Uh, yeah, little pumpkins as a thing, and then you gotta. For the thing. <laughs> it's very technical. <laughs> so, what do you guys think from an all, an all updated tray? Uh, tray? Yeah. You can find these. You can probably find them at a flea market or flea something. Flea markets, yeah. yeah. To a beautiful display like the one we're showing you right now. Mm -hmm. You impress your guest and. And you can, I would stick like look, those little fairy lights on it and like. Oh, that would be cool. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ideas are like such <laughs> give them ideas. So you can put little lights. You can put pump, little pumpkins around it. Mm -hmm. You can put uh, flowers. flowers, candy. If you're having this on your table, oh, yeah, like dessert, a little yeah, chocolate. Candy. So yeah, guys. I hope you like this video. <laughs> Please like and share. Share. Yep. Yeah. Because you know, the more people that can see us, that really helps us out a lot. It's a small business. That's <laughs> a small yeah. business, yeah. Yes, that, that helps, helps us. A lot. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, tell your friends what you learned today. How you can update a little tray that you have laying around home, and do a little masterpiece. And the most important thing is that you did it. It it came from you, mm -hmm. and you should feel proud of what you made. And it'll be one of a kind. And it'll be one of a kind. <laughs> no one else will have it. <laughs> and it's just paint. If you want to do this for uh the fall of thanksgiving you paint it this color if you want to for christmas you can paint the red where we have this gorgeous green bayberry oh that's yes. so pretty it's like an evergreen so pretty it would look awesome mm -hmm. with nice pine cones mm -hmm. and you can and only a little tester is 4.99 yeah you can't beat that and one this size this size will do a whole hutch like yeah a whole yeah you can this will how many pieces do you get out of uh, Whoa, uh, a pipe? Whoa, about big piece. Like I use up to here. Remember? Yeah. Like it was like down to here, and I painted this dresser oh, pipe. Yeah. Yeah. There's a little. And that's two coats, right? That's two coats. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time and spending it with us. And if you try this, please. Post it on the comment and yeah, show we'd love us. Yeah, to see it. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so All much. Right. And uh, bye. bye. <laughs>